what strikes me, however, when people compare it to the Cold War is this is entirely different. After all, the Cold War was a confrontation over, over the entire world, over basically different philosophical positions as to the role of government. And the confrontations were worldwide. Now, this confrontation is over a fairly small area, as, as important as it is, vitally important to the people involved, and over an area which 30 years ago would have been simply an internal matter of the Soviet Union, not even a matter of international concern other than from the humanitarian standpoint. So how does that suddenly become into an east-west confrontation uh, that we are seeing today? Now, the, it seems to me that the stakes are so different that one has to go back and think about, well, aren't we forgetting something? or perhaps misunderstanding something. And it seems to me that both we, and speaking of uh, those of us in the West, and the Russians are misinterpreting what happened during the Cold War and particularly how it was ended. We are misinterpreting it, and we are particularly misinterpreting the role of power in bringing about those results. After all, in 1992, we were thinking the Cold War was over, Europe was united, the Iron Curtain was down, the countries in Eastern Europe were free. We had, we thought, achieved something that was the goal both of Gorbachev's Soviet Union in its last years and of uh, NATO and the West, a Europe whole and free. And now we are down talking as if Europe is again divided and, and that uh, the stakes are almost the same as those during the Cold War with military maneuvers on both sides and reminders occasionally from the Russian side that we are still a nuclear power. You know, that is the real danger right now if we let this get out of hand and if we let this thinking continue in mind. Because I'll tell you, as one who was intimately involved in several decades of trying to end the nuclear arms race, our, my grandchildren don't want to see another one because it is not a pleasant thing to have to deal with. So let's begin to try to think about how did we end the Cold War and why are we getting things wrong? 